Today I'm going to start with a empty water bottle. Uh, there are some water droplets in there, but otherwise it is pretty empty. Uh, nice clear water bottle, we can see right through it. Um, and we're going to start by looking at the words magnesium oxide through this water bottle. Alright, so nothing going on there. Um, you can read it pretty clearly other than the water droplets that are on the sides there. If you get nice and close, you can see right through it. And then if you bring it closer in view, same thing. All right. So now I'm going to go and fill this up with water and we're going to see if that changes anything. All right, so now I have filled the water uh, just with regular tap water, nice and full. Uh, I want you to think about what might happen now to these words when we look at them. So we saw with an empty water bottle, you could read them clearly, whether the water bottle was close uh, to the words or farther away. Now we are using a clear colorless liquid. Um, do you expect something to happen or, or maybe it just remains the same? So let's take a look. All right, so as you can see, magnesium, the word has completely inverted itself and the word oxide has not. So I wonder why this is happening. Well, let's take a look at some other um, drawings to see if you guys can figure out why this is happening. Right, so we see magnesium is completely flipped and oxide has not. So let's see. We put the water bottle down here. I have a couple different illustrations um, to use as examples. So the first one I'm going to use are uh, just these pink arrows I've drawn. And we are going to run them through the water bottle and see what happens. So you can see there, they're also being inverted. It looks like they're traveling from right to left, as opposed to left and right, in which the way I'm actually putting them through. All right, now let's try another beautiful illustration of mine, a little car. Let's try that one as well. So here, car traveling in here. Kind of looks like making a U-turn or running into another vehicle because um, it is also being inverted. All right, so I'm not sure if you've thought about the magnesium oxide, but why oxide might be flipped or oxide might not be flipped and magnesium is flipped. So let's take a look again. Okay, an oxide. All right, so the reason this is happening is when you invert the word magnesium, all of these letters look differently when they're flipped, when they've been inverted, right? The M turns into a W, the A turns into an upside down A and so on, whereas oxide, every letter in the word oxide, if they are inverted, they appear to be the same, right? An O flipped is still an O and same with the other letters. So let's take a look again. So see how that M turned into a W? Uh, the E in magnesium and the I remain the same, um, but otherwise pretty much the same. And then oxide looks the same. Now I'm going to empty the bottle into the sink halfway and I'm going to show you um, those arrows again. All right, so now we have the bottle that is half empty and half full um, to show what is going on here in a comparison. So I'm going to use the arrows once again and um, I'm going to show half of them on top of the water and the other half going through the water to show that difference. 
Now this is happening because we have created a converging lens. So a converging lens is convex on either side. And when the object is a certain distance away, the image will be inverted, as you can see here, as well as enlarged. Certain distances um, will result in different outcomes. As you can see, if we bring it right close to the bottle, right against the lens, um, it is actually pointing in the same direction, so it is not inverted at all. So that is my discrepant event, um, the inversion, inversion of images uh, likely to be used as an introduction to the optics unit um, and creating ray diagrams for converging lenses in grade 10 physics.